Good morning. Good morning. We are on our way to the bus station. Bus stop. <laughs> because we're going on a day trip to Barcelona where we parked Boris on a camping for security reasons. And now we're going to take a local bus into the city, into Barcelona. We're going to check out the vegan food scene. We're going to have breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And maybe much more. And maybe much more. We're Anna and Eve, and this is our self-converted van, Boris. Together, we're looking forward to epic adventures. And we're glad you want to come with us. So buckle up, it's going to be a heck of a ride. So we arrived in Barcelona, it took us around 40 minutes. We've been here many times before. Yeah, it's not the first time, so we are not going to show you all the highlights of the city, but instead we're going to explore the vegan food scene. We're going to have our meals here all vegan, yeah. as traditional as possible. So... And it's sunny weather, so I put on you my better be glasses. You better be hungry. Always, not hungry. Okay, here we go. We have arrived at our first spot, Santoni, where we have a small breakfast, coffee and a croissant or a donut, just like Spanish people. This place is close to the university, so very popular with young people. for this so long already to eat chocolate bread and croissant I will try mm. very tasty with the dark chocolate inside it's a little bit hot crunchy mm. Perfect. Okay. Next I try the croissant. Also a little bit hot. Mm. It tastes the same as a real croissant. Like a butter, little bit buttery, crunchy, it's a little bit sweet. Yeah, you will like it. Now it's my turn, I also went for a croissant and a vegan donut with chocolate. This one is huge. It's been ages since I had a croissant or a donut. Also dark chocolate, very tasty. The croissant itself is not too greasy. Nice croissant, uh, nice donut. It's a donut, the donut is not too greasy. Mm. Next is a croissant, fresh from the oven, I guess. Like Anne said, crunchy on the outside, buttery on the inside. This one's my favorite. Next I'm going to try my vegan cappuccino. And as always in Spain the coffee is very strong. Milk is very creamy. This is a good cappuccino. And it gives you a very beautiful moustache. You get the dark chocolate. Both plates are empty. 
So I guess this means first of all success. Yep. El desayuno is muy bueno. This, and most of the Spanish people have only breakfast at around 10 o'clock. So we did the same as the locals. But we cheated. We had already breakfast this morning before we left. So actually this is our second breakfast now. Two satisfied, yes. two satisfied customers leaving Santoni. So if you're a vegan, don't, don't miss place. that place. No, no. I'll put a link to the location below in the description box. You have a lot of choices for breakfast. Here. Not the most cheap place, quite expensive, but you cannot eat a vegan croissant every day. And they are big too. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. yeah. Big croissants, like chocolate breads. Huge donut. Yeah. So don't miss it. Vegetalia, one of the first vegetarian vegan restaurant in Barcelona. It's closed. Closed. If it's closed permanently, victim of this uh, situation or today, we don't know. Yeah. So if you know, let us know in the comments. So we need to look for a backup for lunch. Luckily, we're not yet hungry. No, it's so early. we can survive another 30 minutes probably. So check out. Uh, other restaurants in the neighborhood so stay tuned I just found out another restaurant for the, to have lunch it's a vegan raw food restaurant with a buffet so I look really forward to it We were lucky to find this restaurant thanks to the app of Happy Cow. It's a buffet style restaurant slash shop. They have a lot of vegan stuff, vegan cheeses and prepared meals to take away or you can eat in and it's like you're in the kitchen. So you go to the buffet, you take what you want and they say they waited but they just look and they tell you the price. I think it's $7.95. Spanish influenced that was what we are looking for you can find vegan food everywhere falafel or pizza or hamburgers but since we're in Barcelona we want to eat only Spanish food so I have some quinoa I have seitan I have meatball all kind of stuff gar uh, beans Even this one, all I had, it's very tasty, small piece of fake feta cheese, same texture, I wouldn't say real feta cheese but more like a strong goat cheese, it's very good, a lot of things I don't even know what it is, but it tastes very good, fresh. Freshly made, healthy, I will enjoy this. So, lunch finished. Yes, we did. Second choice, but it's very good, very tasty, it's fresh. Not heavy on the stomach, so we can eat more vegan food today. Now we are going on a hunt for... Dessert. Postre. Oh. Dessert. See you there, guys. See you. 
After our lunch, it's time for dessert in this macrobiotic restaurant. Just have to wait for a seat so we can sit outside. For the macrobiotic restaurant, I chose three desserts. One is with chocolate, one is with apples, and this one is with almonds. This in combination with tea, infusion tea. So, let's try. Of course, the chocolate one is the first to try. Of course, yeah. Uh, uh, closer, closer. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Mm. It's mousse, chocolate mousse on top. Then you have a cream and a cookie layer. And it's not sweet sweet, it's more the dark chocolate taste. Mm. Smile. <laughs> Look her teeth. <laughs> mm. I think apples or pears, I have no idea. What's this? Mm. It's big chunks of apples uh, topped with cinnamon and a, a cookie, cookie layer on the bottom. It's some a little bit caramelized. It's really nice. Try this apple pie with cinnamon. Mm. It's like a pie made by your grandmother. It's a very good one. Mm. Right, if you see this, this one's for you. So the cakes are finished. 10.50 for three desserts and two teas. Not bad, that's okay for Barcelona. Now we have another four to five hours to kill before dinner. 45 hours. No, four to five. Uh, four to five. Uh. 45, no, only four to five hours kill okay. for our dinner. And we have to go to a special cafe pub where Famous artists came a long time ago. No? Such as? Miro. Um, the painter. Gaudi. The architect. Yeah. Picasso? Picasso. Picasso, famous Picasso. So trying to find that pub this afternoon. And beside that, going to walk a little bit on the Ramblas to the port to digest all this food. This is the place where we want to come for a beer, but apparently it's a restaurant, no pub. So we have to look somewhere else. No problem. Place is enough. Take two. And asked if you could have a drink here. And apparently it's still a pub. So we'll have a beer. Look here, cerveceria modernista. So it's beer? Cerveceria. So we can have a beer here. So, turns out the first part is a pub, second part is a restaurant, the restaurant was wow, wow. Sublime. wow factor, although pub is also nice to sit and yeah. to have a beer, it's a bit more expensive to drink a beer but you have the environment, you have the art around you, yeah the atmosphere, yeah, that's nice. so it's time to make our way 
down to the harbor for dinner. Dinner. We still have a few hours to spare, so we'll take it easy, take some few stops. We made it! Finally we made it! After many kilometers walking around Barcelona, around to Ramlas. Finally, we are too early, <laughs> but hopefully we can get a table. Tired, thirsty. And start an appetizer already. Sore feet. Uh, and we have to go all the way back <laughs> for oh the no. bus to Plaza de Catalunya. So. Okay, let's see inside. So, we are back so. in Barcelona. We can't leave here without drinking sangria. So, take a straw. Or a spoon. Uh, that's a fork. Pork. You have both a different kind. I have red wine with vermouth, white wine. With vermouth? Also with from white vermouth. So, let's try this. Penis. Spices. Yeah. We have strawberry, orange and mint. <coughs> uh, it's very refreshing. Not a big uh, red wine lover, but uh, with star anise and dried fruits. Star anise? Yeah. And I have star anise. Vermouth, star anise and red wine. Yeah, it's okay, it's good. I'll try my the pink one. Very refreshing. Mm, that's good. So the white wine, it's mint. There's oranges, strawberry. I think that's it. That's it. Red white wine and vermouth. Yeah. I'll try yours. Ah, that's it. Mm. This is more like a cocktail. Yeah, I like more the cocktail one. This is more like the original sangria, I think. And this is a cocktail. And the anise is very prominent. Present, yeah, prominent. Yeah. Waiting with excitement to our main dish of the day. The main reason why we came to Barcelona. Paella, vegan paella. With vegan mariscos. Vegan mariscos or Cambas? No. Seafood? Seafood. Looking forward to it. <laughs> Bring it on. This paella is 100% vegan. You see, the fish is not real fish. They make it eh, vegan. So, and it's very hot. It comes out of the oven, I think. So I try first the fish. I don't know how fish tastes, so I can't compare. So Yves will tell you how it tastes. I will try this. <laughs> mm. Mm. There's a lot of flavors in it. There's carrots, there's uh, beans, um, peas, herbs, onion, seaweed. Sprinkle the lemon over it. First taste the rice. Mm. Very soft taste, not so. You know, I don't know how to call it. Not so pronounced the taste. Let me try fish. Mm. 
It has the same texture as a real gamba, real, but the, the, the taste is different. I'll try some rice with this sauce. Mm. This sauce is very good. With the tangy taste to it. We'll try one of these fried calamari, fried sweet, squid. Mm. <laughs> these, these fried squids. The texture is the same, it's crunchy, it's chewy, even the taste is very close. These are very good. Yep. Happy with it, happy. We came to Barcelona for this dish. A paella with sangria. Can it be more traditional? <laughs> Leaving the last restaurant of the day. We started with a mission. The mission was to explore the vegan food scene of Barcelona. And I think the mission is accomplished. Mission accomplished, 100%. Thumbs up, yeah. My favorite was the paella. Just in this restaurant, was full of flavors, full of vegetables, green peas, uh, lentils, seaweed, carrots, mock fish. That was my favorite. And my favorite, I love <laughs> chocolate breads. <laughs> the first one in the morning and croissants, those are the things I missed a lot sometimes as a vegan. So I think that's my favorite. So I hope you liked this vlog as much as we did today. Something totally different than the normal travel yeah. vlog. Little uh, side trip from van life. Of course, you turn to the left. So if you like this vlog, give us a thumbs up, leave a comment and subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. It's the best way to help us, it's free. And see you next, next week. Next Sunday. Bye. Thanks for watching.